Hey, hey, beautiful baby dolls. BankX have put up a 350 million EHEX wall. What is going on here? Let's have a look. You see, this is the wall. This is actually what it looks like. It's a distribution wall. And I'm telling you, this is actually very bullish. This is what you want to see. People just want clarity. They didn't want to be having the gun to their head where, where BankX is like, we're not going to let it get to a dollar. You know what I mean? This type of crazy loopy stuff, right? Now, you need about $6 million to clear it. And this is fantastic because it gives you certainty. Like I said, it just removes a bit of the fear. Now, this box, this rectangle is basically just what it looks like. That's it. But it's got to clear through that wall first. It's $6 million I need to clear it. Now, most people are going to tell you, well, $6 million is nothing. Yeah, of course it's nothing. But who's going to come and pay $6 million by themselves? That's a beautiful part of crypto. You don't need one person, friends. It's just you might need Ethereum to keep pumping. Maybe Ethereum clears this $3,000 zone, $3,100, and then Pulse Chain, PulseX, and PHEX start going up. I'm just going to show you their charts as well because that's basically what you need to happen. Now, if I have a look here, you might be wondering, okay, who's ever going to buy any of these? It's very simple, man. As, as the market price clears, like if you just see, if you're seeing Pulse clear 3x above day one sack and 4x you're going to have ehex buyers as well of course you are it's almost near guaranteed certainty people are just going to come and participate on it this is pulse x as well you're going to see the same thing now this is the combinator price which is dip catcher's uh price which is actually really cool really useful you can see just how low total hex is remember combinator is ehex and phex combined into one that's what we want to see we want to see that hex community what the price really is now for new people coming in they want to speculate on p hex going to a dollar and e hex going to a dollar they're not speculating on e hex plus p hex but i like to track it because i want to track where the people who are in which is pretty much everyone watching this video where you guys are all in because you're not all going to tell me what your portfolio is worth at those certain numbers but i know from the charts what you're going to be looking at i know for example you're going to be eyeing out this Pulse Chain Testnet V3 price, 10 to 12 cents. I know that when combined price gets back to 19 to 25 cents, you are near the Pulse Chain fake launch price and Pulse X sacrifice price. I know Hex Mikey sold his house for the 41 cents. Now, he didn't really sell the house. Your friends, he's doing fine. Apparently, the guy's loaded. He's done really well. And on top of being loaded, apparently, he's got like, he got donations as well. That's okay. But the story doesn't care about that part. The, what the people want is they want a story like, no, you sacrificed your family. What happened? That's what people want. We want, it's crazy how humans, friends, we want the narrative. We want the movie to play out. And we would also like a bit of pop music, won't we? So we're going to make it, friends. Have a look at this. I have the PHEX price chart here. Now, as you can see, we're going sideways for a long time. There's a little wick here up to this 4.2 cents. We've got a long way to clear. Now, what I've done is I've just put in these other prices. Just this, remember, this is just PHEX. So we've got some time to clear around, but everyone is waiting for the EHEX. So look how crazy it is. I mean, it's not even that bad. I mean, if you just see their box, friends, the bank X box, remember, it's 1.2 to 2.1, whatever it is. It's literally right here. So they just, they just have like this big giant, just this, that's it, just this big giant zone. And all we got to do is just chew through it. Now, it's funny. Okay. There might be a big player who appears who puts like $2 million bid down. And it, it, it's a game of poker. It's like, are you desperate to sell or are you desperate to buy? Well, if the market moves nowhere, the guy who's desperate to sell, they're probably the ones who are like in the weekend, right? But if BankX leaves that offer there and you're seeing Ethereum at 3300 and Pulse Chain and PulseX screaming up, well, everybody's going to be screaming to get Bankex's order because they know that they're not a, the, the market price shouldn't be at like 1.2 cents. Maybe it should be like at four. That's in an extreme scenario, okay? But I think it's also interesting to track the EHEX to PHEX ratio as this thing happens because this is what we want to see, right? Look, it's kind of, this is crazy. Like Bankex put up a giant wall and the, the ratio is still 0 0.59. Now, what we might find, friends, is this is what became maybe very unpopular, but you just can all suck it, was I said... If EHEX is dropping down here in risk off, I wonder if in risk on, it goes back to parity. That was just something I thought about. But what also appeared, friends, was the pulse to hex ratio got so disconnected 
that provide an opportunity to participate as well. That's why I know like some of you guys and girls and squirrels, you get a bit of anxiety. Like, oh, which one do I do, friends? I love this. This is morning wood material, friends. Like you, you get a sexual invigoration because that's bull market stuff. I have goosebumps. I literally have goosebumps right now. I'm like, oh, thank God we made it to the bull market. Oh, thank God. Bull market is abundance of opportunity, friends. It's like you're walking around. It's metaphorically. you got a bucket. It's literally just raining pennies from the sky. It's picking up pennies. That's what it, that's what it is. It's so much. Okay, so this is, remember, this is the P-Hex USD price where we change to the pulse ratio. Okay, this is what it looks like. See, this is what everybody's looking at right now. Look, yeah, it could, it could range. It could do this. It could. However, okay, if I invert it, remember, I'm just thinking maybe it's got something to do with ETH BTC, the chart no one's looking at. Okay, this is it. Some people believe, though, that, um, Hex is gonna like come back and reclaim former glory. It can, man. It can. Look, I'm just telling you right now. If Richard wants it to, it can. But the mark will probably fade him back. I'll tell you that. Probably do that. And friends, look, you don't have to take it. Don't, don't take a genius to figure this out. You're like, okay, what did you guys do when the corrupt SEC came and we went risk off? Okay, pulse hex ratio went down. What are you guys doing as we recover? We go up. So you just got to think now. Okay, in the future, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think we're going to go risk off again? Or do you think we're going to keep going risk on? That's it. It's as simple as that. Now, it doesn't mean this thing, this can, can pull back. Hex regains glory. Maybe Richard tries to force Hex up and the market. It doesn't matter. In this big sideways, it's okay. If you're providing liquidity, earning ink, it's all right, man. This part, friend, this ratio stuff, that's just, that's just for me because... I just want to squeeze everything out of this orange juice. One, three, or five ice cubes. Just squeeze it. That's all. That's all. I like. I like. This is my game. This is what I learned doing. I, lo I love thinking about these things and seeing these things. Just in case, man. Look, when okay, there will be an opportunity at some point in this cycle where someone who has no idea what they're doing gives away a lot of free money, but it will look like the beetroot dump. You remember beetroot, friends? The big fat capitulation dump? That's going to happen somewhere. But you need to be ready for it. You need to know what to look for. That's why I know what to look for. I'm looking at these ratios. I'm like, oh, this thing's too cheap. It shouldn't be down here for this day. Okay, now here's the thing. You're probably wondering, oh, why are you telling everyone to be look out for it? You're not going to believe it. That's the thing. You're not going to believe it. When someone slaps down something that much, you're going to think, aha, they must know something. There's something definitely wrong with this product. That's why they're out. But if you look at our ratios, you get to see interesting, right? For example, how do you know a five hundred dollar Ethereum is cheap right now? How do you know that? You go, oh, the, the levels at a thousand or two thousand. How do you know? You don't know. But if I showed you ETH BTC ratio, and I go, wait a minute, if you send Ethereum, if you give away Ethereum for five hundred bucks, you are giving away ETH BTC at zero point zero one. Wow. You haven't been at that ratio since like 2016. Okay, Ethereum didn't even hit that ratio in 2018 at the bottom of the bear market. It it bottomed at 0.018. Actually bought there, by the way, the low, literally the low. So you want to give it to me for 0.01? I'll take you all day. Give it to me. Why are you giving it away from me? Now, of course, in a nutshell, no one's ever going to give it to you, but you see what I mean? Now, these different pockets of opportunity will appear because Pulse Chain's like a year old. So that, that's why we, you're looking at, Bank X appearing, and we know a lot of these ratios exist, and those are liquidity bonding. So I think it's beautiful that we can actually identify these and have a play around with these. Now, EHEX, PX ratio at 0.58, that'd be nice if this comes back because this is basically the first thing that's going to come back. Maybe the floor, friends, maybe just the floor is, is just slowly growing up. I mean, that's what we'll find. It's slowly just moving up towards parity. There are other things here to look at as well. Remember, ICOSA, friends, ICOSA, leverage on hex, still a long way to go. This looks, let's look at the ICOSA hex ratio. It's had this big zip up, now it's pulled in. Maybe it does this little zippity zuba and just kind of grabs it. That's what we want. We really, really want this. Now, from here today, see, it's back in the buy zone, right? Remember, why am I your friend? Because I only, I only talk about stuff. I'm like, hey, this is in a big fat buy zone. And look, this, friends, this is how much I love you so much. ICOSA from here literally went up 3x and it was still cheap that's how cheap it was you did a triple and you're still like really 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 cheap okay so that's like hex right hex went down to one cent at three cents still cheap you're like oh you know you know any even 30 cents or 50 cents okay i hope this thing continues up so hex going up 
is basically cheering Team Icosa on as well. Remember, Icosa and Hedron, friends, are interchangeable. You have the ratio here and there. This is Hedron as well. At this point, we're, we're just playing around. We're just drawing. It's literally every, everything is just cheap. That's it. You're all low. I don't know what happens next. Just give me the big fat green arrow to the up and to the right. That's what we all want to see. I mean, like, even if you go down and you have a look at, you look at the, here, this is Icosa. Look at Icosa cheap. Icosa pulse ratio. This, this is the USD pricing for them as well. So you see a lot of these friends waiting for Bank X. It's not the end of the world because it, it, even if they do get cleared, we hope what happens is if Pulse, Pulse X, and X keep dragging up and EHEX finally choose through that final order, you might just find have some sort of acceleration because effectively what happens is if Pulse moves up and up and up and up, maybe there's there's no sellers for EHEX between one and four cents. But Bank X have left their wall there. So they're like an artificial seller. Okay, it, It's the exact opposite of someone pumping up hex up to 55 cents it stays there it drops 99 percent see what i mean it's it's that kind of equivalent okay, so now we get to hopefully see it on the other side we're like well there's no one like yeah think about this actually i thought about it who wants to sell ehex under five cents you know what i mean why would you want to sell it there like so you know the, there's only one seller there big bank x that's it and of course this of course is weak hands paper hands just they don't even count as people okay they're just hunchbacks they're not what they're doing okay Make sure you get your fluffy slippers on, friends. That's most important. I have mine right here. Okay, I have mine right here, friends. A Highland bull. We're going to move the whole way. What happens next? If you go watch the, the chart, so there's the how we think the world works and then how the world's probably going to work. Now, how we think the world works is everybody sits there with a calculator and gets E-hex plus P-hex and calculates the proper prices and everything. That's how we think the world works. But how the world really works is everyone's just looking at one chart. And this is EHEX, and they're looking at a regular chart. That's it. By the way, you're wondering, what is this horizontal line? This is the combined HEX price. It's where it is right now. So you are still really, really, really cheap, like looking at this, man. That'd be nice. Wouldn't it be nice if you just see EHEX just come back here? And, you know, this week has to get filled at some point. I hope it does, even in the, bear, in the bull market at some point. I hope this week gets filled. This is like 10 cent EHEX. And if it happens, you might have 10 cent EHEX, 10 cent PHEX. You might have 10 cent EHEX, 20 cent PHEX. That's... That's fantastic. That might be why we, I hope we get that. Everyone wants that this year, by the way. We all want that. We all want, can you just do this this year, smack it up and then do something like that? That's the insane volatility. Can you do something like this? That's what we want. Where's the crowd target though? The crowd target is where that flag is. That's actually true, okay? That's the crowd target. Just letting you know, not me. That's the crowd. So it doesn't look that much on a log chart, does it? A dollar eighty. That's basically what the crowd expects, friends. Dollar eighty. Is what everyone's thinking about. They hope they get that get it this year. We'll have to wait and see. Just friendly reminder: the biggest, most powerful altcoin moves happen when Bitcoin breaks its all-time high. So we're seeing pre-game right now. It's like playing in the sandbox, eating jelly beans, you know, dancing around eating ice cream. That's what we're watching right now. So if we can get a big thrust, powerful move of alt season coming up in the, within the next few months, hopefully very very soon, then it's really going to make you make your imagination run wild with what's possible when Bitcoin does break their all-time high. But you've got the yield curve, you've got the stock market, everyone's scared, always scared, climbing that wall of worry. What's going to happen? Wait and see, friends. Like, subscribe, bell button, I'll catch you soon.